you know, my history is that I remember when I was in the equipment business in Houston, Texas, I would mail a thousand pieces a week. I did that for 20 years. And it wouldn't matter if it was Christmas, didn't matter if it was Fourth of July, it they went out. And and it worked. And you could tell by the phone calls. You could you go up there up in the northwest part of Houston. Oh, well, now they're in the southwest part of Houston. You could track the phone calls. It was absolutely amazing how that direct mail worked. And I remember these stories going in this one shop, and the guy says, You it you finally got here. He opens a drawer and pulls out a stack. I'm talking two inches, maybe three inches thick about all the mailers I had mailed him. And he said, I wondered when you were going to get here. And I said, well, sir, there's a phone number on there. You could have called me. And yeah. and it was, it was really funny because he had been looking at it and looking at it and looking at it and kept them. That's amazing how, how those direct mail pieces work. And it was another story. I was... I was out of the business eight years. I mean, I'd been in, we got into the coaching business and to the, you know, tra- you know the, the helping shop owners. And I get a call from this guy. He says, I got your mailer card right here in front of me. And he said, uh, the phone number doesn't work. I said, well, wait a minute. I haven't mailed anything in eight years. Eight years. Yeah. And they had that card. It was amazing. And he tracked me down. And he said, I need your help. So I helped the guy. It was, uh, you, you just don't know how long that stuff's going to hang around. Does that make sense? It's yeah. it's something that those impressions are are so valuable, aren't they? Well, and I think that uh, it's funny you bring that up because, you know, I have story after story of customers who have stacks of these, right? And, you know, one of the things I, you know, we always come, if I'm at conventions talking or in meetings like this, is, you know, a postcard is a very personalized piece. Someone gets to touch it and feel it. It's got a longer tail than people think. Um, you yeah. know, unlike, you know, when you use you know, a paid search or some of the digital, it's kind of on your screen and then it's gone, right? And right. It's, it's a little less personal. But the postcard, and that's why we're seeing that mix of postcards staying pretty steady in an overall marketing plan because it's personal, you can touch it, and it does have a nice long tail. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a couple of my experiences. But, uh, folks, we're going to do another segment here in just a few minutes. But, Tim, thanks for sharing those about the – I would like to call them improvements for the direct mail business. And you can get more specific in what you're doing. Absolutely perfect. Thank you so much. <music> 